A comedy can be that expensive? I'm ready to rock! <laughs> Mr. Kovacs, let me have a swing at that shit! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 insanely expensive comedy movies. Don't. Ever. Do that again. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're ranking the most expensive comedy movies ever made in terms of overall budget. While genre hybrids are welcome, the movie needs to primarily be a comedy. We will be excluding both animated and superhero movies, however, as we'll only be focusing on live action comedy. That's a really bad sign. Number 10, Bewitched. Budget, $85 million. Guess what? What? I'm a witch. Yes, believe it or not, one of the most expensive comedy films ever made was a reimagining of an ABC sitcom from the 60s. They really had high hopes for this, didn't they? Totally. The movie admittedly has a great cast, including Nicole Kidman, Will Ferrell, Michael Caine, Kristen Chenoweth, and Shirley MacLaine, which also undoubtedly raised the $85 million budget through the roof. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow is right. It was a ridiculous amount to spend on a simple romantic comedy, and it was all for nothing. Critics and audiences alike hated the movie, and it grossed only $63 million at the domestic box office. That was my last thing as a witch. Number nine, Town and Country. Budget, $90 million. I think you really have a problem. Oh, you are damn right I have a problem. Remember this movie? That's okay, no one else does either. Which is never a good sign, considering it cost $90 million to produce. And where did all that money go, you may ask? Again, to the stars. <laughs> of course. This movie features the likes of Warren Beatty, Diane Keaton, Goldie Hawn, and Gary Shandling. A few people were undoubtedly excited, as this would be Beatty's third film with Hawn. We say a few, because those collaborations were decades ago and most people probably didn't care at this point. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. The movie ended up grossing only around $10 million, making this one of the biggest bombs ever. Okay, blow them up now. Okay, come on, blow, 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 blow. <laughs> Number eight, It's Complicated. Budget, $85 million. Oh God, it's official. Oh, we're having an affair. It's a movie written and directed by Nancy Myers and starring Meryl Streep, Alec Baldwin, and Steve Martin. Can you possibly see why it would be so expensive? Obviously. While the story was rather predictable and run of the mill, the cast was fantastic, even winning a National Board of Review Award for Best Ensemble Cast. But that kind of talent requires big money, and the producers of this movie needed to pony up about $85 million in order to see the project come to life. What about the fact that I'm now the other woman? It's complicated, ultimately grossed nearly $220 million worldwide. So in this case, it was a worthy investment. Your hair's shorter. Longer. I like it. Number seven, Tower Heist. Budget, 75 to $85 million. If you get shot in your head, it's over. If you get shot in your face, the bullet will go in your cheek, then come out the other side. Tower Heist follows the story of three employees of an executive apartment building who lose their pensions to a sleazy businessman. So they hire a band of criminals to get it back. And you want to do all this in a building with the most advanced security and surveillance system in the world. If the story itself sounds ambitious enough to require a large budget, just wait until you hear the cast list. Ben Stiller, Matthew Broderick, Casey Affleck, Alan Alda, and Eddie Murphy, among many others. Along with the cast, the film employed the use of many ambitious filmmaking techniques, including recreating parts of the Trump International Hotel and Tower. This all resulted in an estimated bill as high as $85 million. Then what you gonna do, sissy? Die. I'm gonna die. Number six, Tropic Thunder. Budget, $92 million. That'll be script, script reads me. Tropic Thunder not only had the movie stars behind it, including Tom Cruise in an amazingly funny cameo, it also had some pretty nifty effects and resulted in a massive $92 million budget. Filming took place on the Hawaiian island of Kauai and featured numerous extensive CGI shots, including the sequence when the helicopter explodes behind Robert Downey Jr. as he runs through the jungle. The crew also transplanted a group of palm trees and constructed both a 450-foot row of explosives and an entire bridge which was subsequently blown up. So yeah, we can see why the budget was a little high. This is insane! Number five, Sex in the City 2. Budget, $95 million. Man, I really hope my past hasn't screwed up my future. Turns out, Sex in the City is insanely expensive to make. We don't know if all four ladies got a raise or what, but the final budget of the sequel totaled an enormous $95 million. What? We can't pay that! Many big names also appear in cameo roles, which could have contributed to the high budget. That and the crew spent six weeks filming in Morocco, when the shoot was supposed to last only 13 days. We wonder if there were unforeseen production setbacks, or if the cast just wanted to take a vacation on the studio's dime. Either way, the movie was widely criticized, but it made nearly $300 million in the box office. So hey, 
Money well spent, we suppose. You all saw that, right? Mm -hmm. Number four, fun with Dick and Jane. Budget, $100 million. You're just gonna have to suck it up for a couple of months. In a couple of months, we'll be declaring bankruptcy. Jim Carrey must be really expensive, because aside from his salary, we're not quite sure where this movie's $100 million budget went. The film is a remake of the 1977 comedy and follows Jim Carrey and Taya Leone as a husband and wife duo that resort to robbery after falling on hard times. Alec Baldwin also stars as Carrey's former boss, but aside from those three, there aren't any big name actors in the movie, and it features no elaborate set pieces or visual effects. I can't calm down, I'm gonna be indicted! Indicted! We guess that's just how much big stars were going for back in 2005 though, and it really makes you think. Okay, nobody try to follow us, because we're desperate criminals, all right? We're crazy people, and I'll kill you all! Number three, Pixels. Budget, $129 million. It's centipede. Now, this is a movie with an understandable budget. With a story about aliens taking the form of giant arcade characters and attacking Earth, it's clear that the visual effects budget would be through the roof, especially because they interact with the, also expensive, human cast. You're getting chubby. <laughs> the shoot itself was also an arduous process, which included turning Toronto into New York and Washington, shutting down the Canadian city streets from traffic, and filling them with wrecked cars and giant holes. Overall, the budget ended up being between $110 and $129 million. Although it totaled $88 million after rebates, it went on to make $78 million in North America and almost $165 million everywhere else, for a total of about $245 million worldwide. <laughs> Number 2. How Do You Know? Budget, $120 million. Never drink to feel better only drink to feel even better. How do you know that movie stars cost a lot of money? Well, just look at this movie. The film took a huge cast of A-list stars, including Reese Witherspoon, Paul Rudd, Owen Wilson, and Jack Nicholson, and was written and directed by James L. Brooks. The extremely large budget of $120 million, or $100 million after rebates, was mostly due to two factors, its stars and meticulous filming. Those are both really hard. Brooks' slow direction often caused the budget to balloon, and the combined salaries of its stars and Brooks totaled around $50 million alone. For a romantic comedy, some may consider that a bit excessive. I think I screwed up. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Who wants to go next, guys? Who wants to look silky smooth? <laughs> yes. Any man has a chance to sweep any woman off her feet. Just needs the right broom. Well, don't fall for a guy at work. Don't fall for a guy at work. Don't fall for a guy at work. Why? Why what? Number one, Evan Almighty. Budget, $175 million. I am successful, I am powerful, I am handsome, I am happy. Hey, studio exec, it turns out Evan was a popular character in the Bruce movie. Great, take $175 million and make a movie just about him. That's right, this sequel cost a head-wobbling $175 million to produce, making it easily the most expensive comedy film ever at the time, though it was later beaten by 2012's Men in Black 3 at $215 million. If that's true, I am going to be so pissed. The studio truly went all out in the production of this Bruce Almighty sequel. They constructed a complete 450 foot long arc, used aged fibers to give the costumes an authentic appearance, created 300 pairs of digital animals, and developed entirely new tools to create the final scene of the arc in Washington. In short, it was a whole ordeal, and it has the budget to prove it. Mind if I park my boat here for a little while? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.